This 120-year-old bridge crossing the Ottawa River is one of the oldest steel bridges in Canada, and controversially, it's scheduled to be torn down and replaced in 2028. Construction began in 1898 after a complicated planning process that was prolonged by a giant pile of unstable sawdust sitting at the bottom of the river. The interprovincial bridge connecting Ottawa and Gatineau eventually opened in 1901 to improve traffic flow for trains, trams, and carriages between cities. At the time, this extended cantilever span was the fourth longest in the world due to having to completely skip over the sawdust. Interestingly enough, the mayor at the time attempted to name it the Royal Alexandra Bridge, however, he didn't properly consult with the Royal Palace beforehand. This led to the official naming ceremony being embarrassingly ignored during the royal visit, and has since caused a very confusing naming situation that has not been resolved to this day. Technically, its official name is still the Interprovincial Bridge. Although many people in the area, including the government itself, often like to pretend its name is in fact the Alexandra Bridge. Honestly this whole situation might be part of why they want to tear it down so badly to begin with. Regardless, I think it's time we give up the Alexandra royalty mumbo-jumbo and go with what the sign says on the structure itself. Eventually in 1950, the entire bridge system was rearranged to remove rail service and provide access to pedestrians and vehicles instead. Currently, the interprovincial bridge serves nearly 15,000 vehicles in the capital region every day, with an additional 3,000 pedestrians and cyclists using the multi-use walkway that offers one of the most incredible scenes you can find anywhere in the country. While major efforts to maintain the bridge are ongoing, the governing body responsible states that a full reconstruction is needed with potential to cost upwards of a billion dollars in an effort to maintain a somewhat similar landscape and stature. To counter this, some groups have suggested that the government hasn't properly assessed the potential for the bridge to be repurposed within its current form. With new information suggesting partial reconstruction and repurposing to a public transit and pedestrians only format could potentially add many years of life, while being significantly cheaper. Regardless, given the significance of the project, and the fact that there are still many years to go before the construction starts, it's safe to say the modernization of the interprovincial bridge will be a controversial issue in the capital region for years to come.